said before, if you want to know how much chain stitches to make in the beginning, you have to uh... Welcome to my channel about crochet and knitting, where I share some crochet tips, patterns and some other interesting stuff. So if you are new to this channel, please check out the other videos and subscribe. And let's move on to the topic of this video. Um, I will show you how to crochet rectangle. Crochet rectangle, we start with chain. The length of the chain will depend on the how big you want the rectangle to be. For example, a little bit of theory, if you want a rectangle which is 28 by 12 centimeters, you need from the longest side subtract the shorter side and this will be the length of the initial chain. Let's say 28 minus 12, I need 16 centimeters of chain. It's approximately, but it, it's turning out pretty accurate. In this example, I will not crochet such a long crochet. I will just show you the principle, how the rectangle works. After we have our chain, one extra chain, because it will be single crochet, rectangle, and we crochet back Okay, all the way back to the last stitch. And now we come to the last chain, the first chain we made, but the last from, if you look from this side to this side. In the corners, we will have chain, uh, single crochet, three single crochet in the same stitch. So we have one, we make two more in the same stitch. This will be start of the corner of our rectangle. Okay. One, two, three. And now we do single crochet from the other side. You can see this like the one side of the chain we made so by grabbing the yarn tail as well just to hide it immediately we get to the other side now we are almost on the other side you see here is our chain one when we made the turn this is our last second last stitch from the side now this is was our last stitch. Uh, we need in the corners three single crochet in the same stitch and we make here two more. Okay. And now there will be little trick. We will skip this first stitch and single crochet in the next. Okay, in order to make the corner more <clears throat> precise, so it's not um, hanging on the one side, so we will have straight corners, okay? We made three and then we skip one, so basically the stitch count stays the same, it's just the position will be, you see, like one, two, three, and the middle is exactly in the middle. And then we continue single crochet as usual until we get to these three single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, now we come to these three single crochet in the same stitch. 
these two side stitches, this will be our corners. This will be our shortest side. So what we do now, in order to make nice corner, in this first stitch of the three, we again do single crochet, three single crochet in the same stitch. One. two and three okay here on the side there's this one middle we just do one single crochet and here again we have the last stitch of our three single crochet and we again do three single crochet in this stitch Okay, what do we have now here? Three single crochet, one, and again, three single crochet. So just um, to explain you what we will do later also, when we come to this three, again, this will be our corner stitch. So this stitch goes to the longer side, and then on the shorter side, we will have three stitches in between the increases, okay? I will show you how it how to do it do the same on the this side and when we are on the other side again this were our corner which we did before so you see in this stitch we do three single crochet in the same stitch This is our one stitch for the shorter side. We just have one single crochet. And again, in the third, we do three single crochet in the same stitch. At the moment, it looks like this. It's not very prominent now, but after a few more rows, we will see how the corners are done and now we again single crochet until we get to these three single crochet on this corner now we are on the other side be careful have a look this our three single crochet in the same stitch okay this goes now one single crochet in this first stitch this will contribute to the length of the longer side Okay, now we have this middle stitch. In this middle stitch, again, three single crochet. Now, look on the other side, we also have uh, three single crochet, one, two, three. In this middle one, we will do three single crochets, okay? But this now, uh, We'll have three in this straight part for the short spots. We will have three um, single crochet in each. Like one single crochet in the three. And now we come again. This one from three single crochet we did one single crochet now in this corner in this middle of this three we do another three so we always basically um, in this middle of the three single crochet in the same stitch we do three single crochet so this is where our corners will be so now the next row for example in this side you will uh, crochet five seven nine eleven single crochet and of course the corners do the same on the other side after you have done a few rows you will definitely see the corners and it will be much easier uh, to see where to make this increase of three stitches 
single crochet stitches so now again we come to the corner we see we had in previous round three single crochet so the first we do one single crochet in the middle we do again increase and now we will have five two one two three four five and um, just simple straight knitting yeah this is our shorter side in the next row this row will be seven then nine eleven uh, thirteen and so on i just want you to understand the principle and then you can make as big as you want Again, we come to three, one goes. <clears throat> now in the middle, we do again increase. There how it looks now. You see and in the next row we will have seven stitches between the increases and then nine eleven and so on and this is our rectangle let's assume I want to make rectangle this big now if well where do I need to fast enough you will have to count so each side has uh, the same amount of uh, rows for example one two three four five six one two three four five six uh, one two three four five and six here was the beginning yes and here is um well, like one two three four five and six yeah because here we made the first three single crochet and uh, normally if you want to know where is the beginning we started here so the beginning of the row will be somewhere here these are all our increased stitches and yeah around here when the first chain here we can start fast enough you can just to even out the edge a little bit to make slip stitch in the next and then you can fast enough and um, it will be almost invisible because we were crocheting in the spiral there will be a slight jug but it will be almost invisible when you fast enough recap of everything what I showed you today in order to make a crochet triangle you will have to decide what size you want the rectangle not triangle rectangle to be in my example this rectangle the longest side is about uh, 12 centimeters and the shorter side is about seven centimeters okay as i said before if you want to know how much chain stitches to make at the beginning you have to uh, deduct like from the longer side the shorter side in centimeters then you will know how much how many centimeters you will need uh, to cast on yeah to have chain for example 12 minus 7 is 5 so let's see and we have yes you see around 5 centimeters in the cast on so the calculations are always right and next you just need to do three single crochet in the first round then in every subsequent round uh, you will have to make a single crochet in the middle of previous increase only on the first round is different than you make like on the sides and one stitch is left for the shorter sides and there will be three stitches five seven nine and eleven and in every corner you will make three single crochet 
that you can use. For example, I use this rectangle as a base for the crochet bag. I will leave the link. If you want to crochet similar bag, please watch this next tutorial.